Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 5-5. The copper pipe has an outer diameter of 2.50 inch and inner diameter of 2.30 inch. If it is tightly secured to wall at C and three torques applied to it as shown, determine the shearing stress developed at point A and B. This point lies on pipe, pipe's outer surface. Sketch the shear stress on volume element located at A and B. So you can see this is the pipe that is fixed support at point C clear and the three torques are applied. You have been asked to find the shearing stress at point A and point B and also locate them on the uh, volume element. So we will start with the given data. So in given data it, it is given that outer diameter of pipe is equal to 2.50 inch clear while inner diameter of pipe is 2.30 inch. So I will write here outer radius is equal to 2.50 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.25 inch while inner radius is equal to 2.30 divided by 2 and that is equal to 1.15 inch. Three torques are applied so you have to find sharing stress at point A and sharing stress at point B and also show them on volume element. So let's start with the solution. So for finding the shearing stress at point A, first we will section this pipe over point A and we will draw the free body diagram. So the free body diagram will be like some somewhat like it will be like this. So this is the pipe clear. So at this end counterclockwise torque is applied 600 pound into foot clear at point A we have a clockwise torque clear and that is not at point A some what before point A clear so this is point A here we will find the net effect so this is 600 and this is 350 their difference is 250 and 250 will be act in this direction clear because this is clockwise this is anti-clockwise no, sorry in this direction this is counterclockwise and this is clockwise so we will apply a clockwise torque and that will be in this direction so this is ta and this ta is equal to 250 feet pound into feet clear now we will uh, apply the equation shear stress at point A is equal to TA into C divided by J. Clear? J for the shaft will be equal to pi by 2 into our outer 4 minus our inner 4. And that is equal to pi by 2. Our outer is 1.25 power 4 minus 1.15 power 4 clear so this is the value of j and we will put it over here so torque at point a is equal to 250 radius it is given that point a is the outer surface of the pipe so outer surface of the pipe is uh, radius is 1.25 so we will take 1.25 divide by this j value which is equal to pi by 2 into 1.25 power 4 minus 1.15 power 4 so when you solve it you will get the sharing stress at point a is 3.45 ksi this is the first part now we will find the uh, we will find the second part which is sharing stress at point B. So for that we will cut this at point B and we will draw the free body diagram. So I will draw the free body diagram. This is pipe 
clear at this end counter clockwise 600 for a pound into feet at this end we have 350 pound into feet at this end again we have 450 450 pound into feet so you can see 350 and 450 which is though both are in the same direction and they are 800 uh, 800 pound and this is 600 so we need 200 in this direction so i will draw it in this direction this will be equal to tb and this tb is equal to 200 pound into feet now we have torque at point b we can apply the equation shear stress at point B is equal to TB into C divided by J. TB is 200 pound clear pound into into C is radius which is again 1.25 clear. Now remember that this is 200 pound into feet clear so 200 we have to convert it into inch so i will multiply it with 12 clear divide by pi by 2 into 1.25 power 4 minus 1.1 power 4 the same thing i i did mistake over here so this is 250 pound into feet so i have to multiply it with 12 that will give you this answer clear so make a correction over here so when you solve this you will get the shearing stress at point B comes out to be 2.76 KSI. Now we will draw its distribution on the element. So for A if I draw so if A is over there so its shearing stress uh, if I remove these lines. and now you can see that this point a is there so your shear stress will be perpendicular to this radius clear and if i draw the element or like this so if this point is this face so it will be downward and this will be like this similarly it will be like this and top and this will create the same rotational effect at at point a clear you can see this is clockwise and it is also this force is ta uh, this is ta a and that is equal to 3.45 ksi similarly at point b you can see this is the upper face So if it is producing counterclockwise, so it will be like this. The lower surface will be this, and this surface will be, and this will be tau b, and this tau b is equal to 2.76 ksi, which we have calculated downward. And you can see this is also producing a clockwise counterclockwise rotation because this tau b is also producing counterclockwise rotation i hope you have enjoyed thank you for watching and supporting me